In this video, we're gonna talk about how to add octal numbers. The base 8 has values from 0 to 7. The octal number system is based on the powers of 8. Now, let's try to solve this problem. Here we have 5, 7, 1, 4, 3, base 8, plus 7, 0, 5, 2, base 8, plus 7, 0, 6, 1, base 8, plus 7, 4, 3, 0, base 8. Now, let's start solving the first column. 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 6. 6 is an octal number, so just write that down. Next column, 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 3 is 18. 18 is not an octal number, so we need to convert it into octal. Let's put 18 in our dividend and the base 8 as our divisor. 18 divided by 8 is 2 2 times 8 is 16 now let's subtract 18 minus 16 is 2 the remainder is our sum and the quotient is our carry now let us continue adding the third column 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 equals 7 7 is an octal number so we just write that down next column 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 7 is 21 plus 7 is 28 obviously 28 is not an octal number so we need to convert it into octal 28 divided by 8 is 3 3 times 8 is 24 28 minus 24 is 4 let's put the remainder in our sum and the quotient is our carry and for the last column 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 is not an octal number because 7 is the highest value in base 8. So, let's convert 8 into octal. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. Then, let's subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. This 0 here is our sum and the quotient here, which is 1, is our carry. Now, our answer is 104726 base 8. We write a little 8 down here to indicate that this is an octal number base 8. Now, to check the work, let's put powers of 8 on each octal number. 1 times 8 to the power of 5 is 32,768. Next, 0 times 8 to the power of 4 is just 0. Next, 4 times 8 to the power of 3 is 2048. Next, 7 times 8 to the power of 2 is 448. And 2 times 8 to the power of 1 is 16. Then last number, 6 times 8 to the power of 0 is 6. Now, let's add all of these numbers and we get 35,286. And after that, let's do the same process for each row of numbers. Then let's add all of these numbers just like what we did in here. And the answer is also 35,286. The result is the same from this one. So now, we can see that we have the right answer. Now, you can try to solve this problem. You can leave your answer in the comment section below.